Hey everybody, welcome to another Goody Reader video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Today we're going to give you the reading experience on the Amazon Kindle Fire HD 7. We're going to show you newspapers, magazines, ebooks, immersion reading, and whisper sync for voice. It's an action-packed video and we're going to get started by looking at a magazine and this is purchased uh, on the newsstand and to purchase things you basically click on the store now if you live outside the US you actually won't be able to purchase um, magazines and newspapers and such unless you have a US billing address and credit card if you don't have this you can go to shopyreaders.com and purchase it from them and once you do that everything but videos on the entire Kindle Fire International works and this includes newspapers and magazines which we'll show you right now so this is a magazine actually purchased from Amazon so it looks different from uh, you know basically magazines that are apps you see a cool little peak feature uh, there are options to shut this off in a settings menu and you could basically double click to get sort of the e version of it so that that's pretty handy for you know because it's hard to read the text <laughs> you know like this even if you're pinching and zooming but double tap and it, it basically goes to ebook form and when it's in ebook form you actually have uh, the ability to uh, change you know some settings and stuff like that and um, highlights anointations and things like that you saw a font option there when Peter clicked there and this will allow you to enjoy all the full Kindle functionality of color modes uh, margins being able to change your fonts being able to change your font size so a lot of the ebook options that you like to enjoy you can apply that towards sort of the ebook option within the magazine so you're not obligated to do it but all you do is sort of double click on an article body and you get to do that um, also like I said you can pinch and zoom I kind of dig the whole peak feature and sort of page turning animation I think it's uh, pretty cool and this is only available for magazines purchased from Amazon's newsstand. So you can see the colors very bright, vibrant, uh, very sort of high resolution and this is taking advantage over the superior you know uh, screen that comes in the Kindle Fire 7 HD so this is the this is your sort of magazine experience when you purchase magazines directly from Amazon uh, the next thing that we're going to do is show you the newspaper experience now what we have found was that when you download newspapers from Amazon they're actually apps they're not sort of issues or anything like that but you can think of them as like independent applications uh, so we have, you can see uh, all of them here, and again, if you live outside the U.S., you can't actually download these unless you have a U.S. billing address and credit card. So we have downloaded the USA Today, and uh, we'll give you sort of um, an idea on how newspapers look when you sort of purchase them from Amazon. So this is the USA Today. Uh, different papers have sort of different types of layouts, but this is sort of the traditional type of layout. Uh, you can watch, you know, videos. There's audio integration and things like that as well. You can see sort of pictures and things like that. Uh, there's different sort of options that you could uh, employ here. There's different, um, you know, different different sort of apps have different sort of settings. You see here, sort of your quick uh, key to all the different sort of articles and sections within the newspaper all these sort of things are like dynamically updated because I mean it is an app you can look at sort of the USA Today it's almost like a glorified RRS feed so this is more or less the experience that you can expect from it and of course you could change it from landscape to portrait mode. The next thing that we want to do is take a look at the ebook experience. Now there's a few things uh, that you need to know about ebooks. If you sideload in your own ebooks often um, a lot of features uh, won't work such as uh, x-ray 
X-Ray basically gives you uh, the ability to see who all the main characters are in a book, uh, to see how often they are referenced, as well as when you click on one, uh, you can see either um, sort of things that they've said or uh, people imp using their name in the book. And you can click on things, go directly to that page. You can uh, character biography, go to like Wikipedia and all that sort of stuff. Um, so you do have a lot of flexibility. Uh, X-Ray is perfect for people who sometimes juggle more than one book and you might come back to a book after about a month or two and kind of forget. You might remember the main characters, but you may forget some of the minor characters and, and uh, sort of their biographies. X-Ray will sort of bring you up to speed uh, in that respect. So, of course, with the ebook experience, you can uh, highlight, you can take uh, notes and, and orientations. And then you can go, once you make a note, you can sort of uh, hit a, the thing in the center and uh, see all the notes that you've made on that particular book. As well as pages. All these are real page numbers too, incidentally. So if you're studying for class or part of a book club, you're sort of good to go. Uh, what, the same thing sort of applies uh, for this as the... Um, the first thing that we showed you where you get to change text, you can look things in Wikipedia, dictionary definitions, and so on. Once you're actually in a book, you can hit in the center, and then you could see some font options there. This is sort of the same thing that we showed you. Change the, the background, change the size of the text. Everything's updated dynamically in real time. Uh, you can also change uh, the font entirely if you wanted to. So you see we have it on Georgia, but you can change it to whatever you want. One of the cool features about uh, the ebook experience is immersion reading. And this is a way um, that you could actually have text read back to you as as uh, you've purchased the audiobook. So you have to make a double purchase. You have to purchase the book from Amazon and you have to uh, purchase um, the audiobook uh, as well. Once you uh, make the two purchases, you could, uh, you could see it. we have it here, Save and Rachel. Okay, so you saw we have both books here, and because we kind of jumped ahead in the audiobook, it's prompting us to jump ahead in the ebook. So we're going to click OK. And if you press play, where's the rifle? It'll be in the front seat waiting for you. Shoot twice and jump in the car. Lou will drive you to the hotel. When you get there, he'll show you your ride. Climb in, sit tight. Got it? So you can see it stuttered for a second, but it will highlight the text as the audiobook's playing. So it's sort of good when you're zoning out and reading and maybe you're only half paying attention, but it's also good for kids for word correlation. Once you sort of do this, you could actually listen, you know, say you're reading the book a few chapters uh, with whisper sync for voice, you can actually pick up an audio book where you left off in a novel. So say we're, you know, we get 10 or 15 pages ahead in this book and then we fire up the Audible application or, uh, you know, um, the audiobook application, it'll automatically pick up where we left off reading the novel. So it's kind of cool that there's a little bit of synergy between uh, Amazon's audible.com and their ebook store. So that's pretty cool. So that's a combination of immersion reading and whisper sync for voice. In our full Kindle Fire review, we sort of document the entire procedure on how that works with alternative devices, Android phones, Android tablets, and so on. So this is the core reading experience. And of course, you can download uh, third-party applications uh, from our own Goody Reader App Store and Amazon. One of the things about uh, the e-reading experience on Amazon is that it does not have a lot of their competitors listed in their store. If you go to um, the Amazon App Store, you actually can't get, say, Barnes & Noble. You can't get Kobo. You can't get Sony Reader. So 
Amazon sort of stifles their competition by not allowing them to have, um, you know, any type of main presence in the Amazon Android app market. So if you want to have Nook for your co uh, Kindle Fire or if you want to have, um, you know, Barnes & Noble, Sony or a ton of others, uh, you can download our Goody Reader App Store. We have an independent video that teaches you how to sideload these applications if you've never done it before. You might notice um, in some cases too, some things look a bit pixelated. Sometimes your side loaded content, their icons really aren't big enough or in high resolution. So it's not because of the Kindle Fire kind of looks a bit crappy. It's just because of side loaded content for some reason always looks a bit pixelated. The last thing that we want to do is show you a, an example of um, a very comprehensive and very large uh, PDF file. So this is the D&D Monster Manual. What we have found is with PDF files ranging from 80 to 300 megs, they won't actually work when you're in your docs. You saw we're clicking on it many times, nothing's uh, opening. What sort of happens is when you click on something and it fails to open, it'll automatically be added to your home screen. And once you click on it on your home screen, it'll actually load up. So this is one of, um, the sort of tips and tricks so if you do have really large scale PDF files you want to try to open it in your docs menu fail it'll be added to your home menu click on it and it'll open but it'll open after a little bit while so PDF files and uh, large PDF files you can see that sometimes when you pinch and zoom it's not totally responsive and you can see that there is some clipping issues and things, but that's only with very large files. Smaller files tend to be like very quick, pinching and zooming is really right on. There's really no stuttering when you're pinching and zooming and things are kind of loading. Page turn speeds seem pretty fast with really large uh, PDF files, but some of the drawbacks is just like pinching and zooming. So you see that it took a second for it to kind of catch up and it clipped a little bit. With PDF files, you really don't have a lot of options with the, the Kindle Fire. There's really no kind of reflow or any type of options like that. You can see that the settings menu just disappeared entirely from side loaded PDFs. But of course, you can pinch and zoom. You can double click to form text to take up like the whole page and whatnot. Of course, you know, little images like this look pretty good, you know, on your on your high resolution screen. So if you're involved in medical, academic, if you're a role-playing fanatic and such, you download a lot of PDFs, a Kindle Fire is pretty good for it. And you can kind of find that sweet spot between uh, doing your Kindle Fire either on landscape mode, which we're demonstrating in this video, or portrait mode. Um, I, I have found from experience that comic books, they have always looked better uh, in portrait mode things just tend to fill up the screen a little bit more speaking of comics let's take a look at one Amazon has not single issues but they have a lot of graphic novels they have Kindle guided view technology which is a little bit different from just swiping from page to page Peter here will demonstrate with the guided view for panels so you can uh, swip, uh, uh, swipe page to page if you wish, if you want to just read the entire uh, page as it is, or you can double tap a panel and going forward and backwards will navigate from the top left to the bottom right, which North American comics usually read. So you can see it goes from panel to panel, kind of pops out and gives the back kind of a blurred, diffused look so that this is the main center attraction. And you can, uh, as you swipe to the bottom and you swipe once more to go forward, it'll actually go to the next panel. So you can see there, there's two panels right there, some dead zombies. Go even further and you have, um, it just basically goes from panel to panel if you want to read the whole thing. Double tap out if you want to go back into panel mode. Double tap the panel you want and you can navigate from there. Now can you pinch and zoom to zoom in on things manually? doesn't look like you can so with uh, graphic novels purchased from Amazon and they are purchased from the ebook store and there's uh, an option on uh, the, 
the right hand side for the UI for, for comic books. There really isn't an extensive collection, but it does have some cool things like that. You may have noticed that there's a feature X-Ray on the top, but unfortunately X-Ray for graphic novels doesn't really work. Perhaps some comics have it, uh, but in, in all the ones that we've tested, uh, the functionality is really not there. I would probably recommend if you're big into comics to get Comixology, Marvel, DC, IDW, uh, a ton of other, even Archie Comics. They're, they're independent applications that give you a lot of access. Uh, and even Comixology, they have their own sort of guided view technology. Same with Marvel. They have uh, a lot more selection than Am as Amazon does. So if you're big on comics, try maybe the more um, app standalone applications because in Amazon App Store it's pretty well limited to graphic novels and not single issue comic books. So this has just been an overview of the entire reading experience on the Kindle Fire HD 7. We've showed you newspapers, magazines, PDFs, and a whole lot more. So for goodyreader.com, my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care.